dear all welcome to home learning classes we are discussing about ds basic modulation technique and the basic introduction related with ds basic signal we already covered in lecture number 9 as well as lecture number 10 here we are going to discuss the most important topic related for your numerical problem that is power content in ds basic signal a signal with finite power and has infinite energy is known as power signal there is two thing in there one is the power should be finite and second thing is the energy should be infinite the both the condition are completed then the signal is known as power signal and the another thing is the power is your time average of energy if the amplitude of a signal does not goes to zero as time approaches to infinite then the signal power is equal to the ratio of square of rms value of signal voltage to the load resistance and the rms value of signal voltage is the ratio of peak value of signal voltage to the square root of 2 and the square root of 2 is equal to 1.414 as per real signal we have the average signal power is this and for complex value signal the average signal power is this the change in the real value signal and complex value signal the mode is there in the complex value signal first important point regarding power is the average power exist if the signal is either periodic or has a statistical regularities another important point if there is periodic signal which repeat regularly as per its period then the averaging its mean square value over an large interval that approaches to infinite is equivalent to averaging it over one period as it is impossible to generate the two power due to infinite energy and infinite time so if signal is periodic then it its average value is considered instead of q value and average value is corresponding to their single period as per its regular interval another important point the power is expressed in watts or in dbm the db means decibel and the dbm is used to express an absolute value of power with a reference to milliwatt there is two thing in decibel one is dbm another one is db the dbm is used to express the absolute value of power with a reference to 1 milliwatt and the db is used to quantify the ratio between two different power value and it the db is dimensionless unit so there is two thing and you definitely know the difference between them when we consider the power then it is always considered with respect to db and and the when the concern ratio is there then we can consider db and the power in dbm is equivalent to the 10 log base 10 power in milliwatt to the 1 milliwatt so now we have the mathematical formula for dbm that is corresponding to power in milliwatt with respect to or with refer to 1 milliwatt and the mathematical formula for power in db that is 10 log p2 by p1 
and the power P1 and P2 are two different power level where the power P1 and P2 are two different power levels specified in same unit. It can be in watt or it can be in milliwatt. The very interesting fact that in dB we put the V letter as capital letter because it is in the owner of great inventor of telephone that is Alexander Graham Bell. For his owner, we put the V capital word that is related with Alexander Graham Bell. Finally, we have the necessary condition for the power signal. Now, as per our DSBC example, which we already taken in lecture number 10, then the same example we considered here. The modulated signal MT is equivalent to A M post 2 pi FMT as per the mathematical representation of signal power. If the signal amplitude does not goes to zero as time approaches to infinite, then the signal power defined as the ratio of square of RMS value of the signal voltage to the load resistance. By using this mathematical formula, we get the modulating signal power is the ratio of AM square to the 2 RM. Similarly, we take carrying a signal that is CT that is equal to AC cos 2 pi FCT. We get the carrying signal power by using same mathematical formula of signal power, we get carrier signal power PC that is equivalent to the ratio of AC square divided by 2 into R. Now, as per our modulated DSBS signal, we have lower side band that is corresponding to FC minus FM operating frequency, and we have upper side band that is corresponding to FC plus FM operating frequency. So, as per our upper side band and lower side band, we have modulated upper side band signal power as well as modulated lower side band signal power. So, the modulated lower side band signal power that is corresponding to FC minus FM operating frequency that is equal to this. And similarly, we have modulated upper sideband signal power that is corresponding to FC plus FM operating frequency. And that is equivalent to this. The total sideband power is equivalent to upper sideband power plus lower sideband power. And the total sideband power is equivalent to square of AM into AC to the 4 into R. Now this sideband power is corresponding to single tone signal. Means if the message signal is corresponding to single operating frequency. If the modulating signal corresponding to multiple signal frequency or it is multi-tone signal. Then the total sideband power is equivalent to the sum of all lower sideband power plus sum of all upper segment power. So, it can be P LSB 1 plus P LSB 2 plus P USB 1 plus P USB 2 and up to so on as per our multi-tone signal. Now, we consider the most important point that is our modulation or transmission efficiency. The modulation or transmission efficiency is the percentage of total power contributed by the sideband. Means the sideband that have the useful information. And the carrier signal is only considered to transport the signal. So, as per our mathematical formula, the modulation or transmission efficiency is the ratio of total sideband signal power to the total modulated signal power. Here in DSBS signal, the total sideband power and 
the total modulated signal power are same because the carrier signal is absent in the modulated spectrum. So the total power in the DS basis signal is your total sideband power. And here if we take the modulation efficiency then it is equivalent to 1 and which is known as 100%. Thus the entire power in DS basis signal is your sideband power. But we attain this 100% modulation or transmission efficiency at the cost of expensive and complex receiver. And that is due to utility of synchronous detector. So as per the conclusion, we have two important characteristics of DSPC signal. The first important characteristic is that the DSPC modulation scheme has 100% transmission or modulation efficiency. The second important outcome that the bandwidth of DSPC modulated signal is equal to two times of maximum modulating signal frequency or band. Thank you very much for your assistance and please subscribe this channel for getting regular updates.